It's an expansion to their rehab facility. News 3's Rachel Gartner has more for us from DeCoin. <laughs> Marshall Browning CEO Dan Eves has been with the hospital in some fashion since 1980. He says this expansion during their centennial is better care for the community and an evolution for the hospital. We want to put the hospital in a position to succeed, do another 100 years, hopefully, I won't know it, but, but that's okay. We're doing what we can now. The hospital received $1 million through the USDA's Emergency Rural Health Care Grant. Illinois State Director of Rural Development Betsy Dirksen Londrigan says the grant was partially based on community need. It's because the community thinks it's important and rural development's mission is to improve the quality of life and economic opportunities uh, for people in small towns and that is driven by what the communities identify as their needs. The hospital will make up the difference of an estimated $300,000 for the facility. Connected to the current rehab building, the expansion will be 7,700 square feet. Board of Directors President Guy Alonji says it will make room for additional services as well as extra space in the main building. It actually expands the services that we're providing and, and you know, for those people that doctor in Heron, for instance, you know, instead of them having to go to Heron or Carbondale for rehab, they can now come back here. Which overall, Alonji says, is a benefit for everyone. I mean, I just think it's just good overall for our community. Mm -hmm. Reporting in DuCoin, Rachel Gartner, News 3. The rehab project is expected to be done sometime this summer. In addition to the expansion, the hospital says there is a plan to convert the north wing of Marshall Browning Estates into a physician clinic. They say that project should and could be done in April.